Hey guys, Ryan Juanita here, and today we are checking out two top true wireless earbuds from the same company, Jabra. We're looking at the Elite Active 65T, the old guard from the company, and the brand new kit on the block, the Elite 75T. And before we get into things, let me just give you a preview. The biggest difference here is size and sound. Now before we even open up the case, you can see that this case is much smaller. It may look a little subtle from far away, but it's a big difference in your pocket. And apart from that, there's another thing we really like about the new design, and that's a flat bottom for the 75T. As you can see, for some reason, the Elite Active 65T and the Elite 65T before it had a case that does that. Not exactly what you want from your case. It works fine in your pocket, but you can't stand it up. So that's right there, a nice improvement. It's nice to see that they're learning. Another cool improvement right here is the Elite Active 65T case is kind of hard to open. The 75T isn't. That is an AirPods take. And you know, if you're gonna copy, you might wanna copy from some of the best. Nobody does design better than Apple. So that is another great update. Looking closer, another huge design change is just the size of the earbuds. The 65T just looks honking compared to the 75T. It used to seem small, but Things move very quickly in true wireless earbuds. That was last year, this is this year, and just look at that size difference. You can feel the weight in your fingers, you can feel the weight in your ears, and it's just a lot more comfortable putting these things in. Now before moving on, one more thing about the case here. You can see the old case had the micro USB input. The new case has the USB-C, so that's great for anyone who's got an Android phone or anyone who has a USB-C cable lying around. You probably aren't toting around a micro USB anymore, but it doesn't really affect the charging as much as you would think. Both cases quick charge the earbuds. In about 15 minutes, you get an hour of sound. It's about 10 to 20 for the old case. It's supposed to be about 15 for the new case. Not that great. Now, before moving on, let's talk about battery real quick because the 75T also increases the battery life even though it gets smaller. The Elite Active 65T had five hours per charge and around two charges in the case. The 75T now offers around seven and a half hours, though we got more like seven in testing. And again, there's two more in the case. So that's a lot more battery to take along with you. And while a couple hours might not seem like that much, you're really going to notice it. You're just gonna be charging the buds less, especially on heavy use days. So it's a really nice upgrade. And that's thanks to more efficient Bluetooth chips. You can actually get more from the earbuds, even though they're smaller. Controls are also pretty similar. You've got a single button control on the 65T and then this sort of dual button control here, which is kind of hard to hit with your finger, but it works because you get volume control there. Instead of that, the new 75T just has two buttons and you can get volume control by holding the buttons down. You can also do things like get your hear through technology with the button on the side, call up your voice assistant, and all the things that you expect, play, pause, and skip. Both of them do that well, and I really like that they have physical buttons here. Sometimes those touch pads work fine, sometimes they don't work so well. The other thing that's nice about these buttons is they're really easy to push, so you're not jamming the earbuds into your ear. A big design change from other earbuds that had harder buttons, and I think the buttons are actually even a little bit easier to use with the 75T. One thing you won't get from the 75T that the Elite Active has is any kind of sensors to track your workout. So if you're looking for workout buds specifically, you're gonna wanna reach back to the 65T in that case. But otherwise, they're pretty similar when it comes to taking them to the gym. They're both very water resistant. This is an IP55, this is an IP56. Now if you're wondering what that means, it technically means you can shoot a powerful jet into these earbuds and a less powerful jet into these earbuds. My guess is you're probably not going to be shooting jets into your earbuds, so either one's going to work well, and you're gonna be able to sweat in these just fine. I think really the difference, the upgrade you're gonna feel, again, comes down to the size and the fit. The 75T are just one of the best fits you can get right now, thanks to their really small design. They just fit in just about any ear. Now both earbuds have sets of microphones on the outside. The Elite Active have been upgraded a little bit, but the microphones allow you to hear that outside sound, and you can control that in the app, or you can call it up on the earbuds themselves. But that also allows them to block out outside noises when you're making calls. And we did really enjoy the call quality with the 75T, though I never really had a problem with the 65T anyway. It's a little bit better, and with the 75T, you can actually hear your own voice. There's an option for that in the app. So that's nice if you like to be able to hear your voice in the calls, but really both do pretty well with calling. One feature neither of them have, however, 
is any noise cancellation. Now we don't really expect that at this price level around the $180 line, but we didn't expect that, I guess I should say, until the Amazon Echo Buds came out with it at $130. It's not great noise canceling, but it is there. Luckily, these have really good passive noise isolation anyway though, and again, the fit helps with that. So you're not gonna hear much outside around you. Really noise canceling shouldn't be a huge deal unless you're gonna take them on an airplane. Now when it comes to the sound, I still really like the Elite Active 65T as one of my favorite sounding true wireless earbuds especially at their price point. With the Elite 75T, it is a whole new ball game, and if you're looking for that massive booming bass, these definitely have it. Now it's the same driver set in here, but we actually reached out to Jabra to see what was going on there. It was so much more powerful. I was actually surprised right off the bat as soon as I heard these earbuds. Jabra said, yes, it did add more bass, some compression there to let more bass through. It was something that listeners like you guys were asking for. Well, you asked for it. You got it. For me, it's not an improvement. It's actually a step back. I still like the Elite Active 65T for sound quality overall. The nice thing is, again, you can go into the app, you can lower the bass, but even doing so, the bass still stands pretty tall. And in fact, it's even bigger and more powerful bass than the Powerbeats Pro. I actually found that bass pretty tame in comparison to the 75T. It's not what you expect from a pair of buds that are this small, but that's what you get. I think part of that also has to do with the fit. Again, they fit so snugly in your ears that there's nowhere for that bass to run. So it just gets really boomy really quickly. If that's what you're after, the 75T are gonna be your pick. Personally, I really love the fit of the 75T, but the sound of the Elite Active 65T. It's more balanced, more neutral, and it's easier to control with the EQ. The 75T is tough to tame, but if you're looking for that bombastic bass, these are going to be a great pair for you. They fit great, they look good, and they sound big and powerful. Thank you guys for watching these videos. If you like what you've seen here, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section and we'll try to answer as many of those as we can. You can see more videos right over here. And of course, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel.